Hello and welcome to Afri's Concept TV, where we give you the latest news, gist, and gossips. And now to the news of today. The headline, Biafra is back. Now to the news in detail. Tension is rising in Nigeria over secessionist claim by Biafran organization in Southeast Nigeria. The Nigeria Security Tracker for the week of September 9 to 15 documents significant bloodshed in fighting between the security forces and alleged Biafran secessionist movement. The Nigeria Army is currently conducting an exercise called Operation Python Dance 2 in the territory of the 1967-70 secessionist state of Biafra. Observers claim that the soldiers participating in the exercise are committing widespread human rights abuses against civilians, so much so that a human rights umbrella organization based in the region is preparing to monitor it. Meanwhile, the Army and the security services joined by the Southern Governors have labored the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, its leader, Namdi Kano and other pro Biafran group as terrorists. Kano and others associated with the IPOB have gone into hiding and the security services are seeking their arrest. His lawyer has not heard from him since September 14. And fears the worst. Kano is on trial for treasonable felony charges but was granted bail for health reasons. Meanwhile, there is a swirl of charges and countercharges of ethnic and religious attack across the country, but tied in various ways to the southeast region. The security services claim the IPOB is securing weapons and uniforms and creating a secret army. The IPOB maintains that it is a peaceful movement for self-determination. However, an IPOB spokesman is warning that the movement may result to violence. He said that the organization Directorate of State, headquartered in Germany, would meet soon to vote on the vitality of a ways of continuing our struggle in this non-violent manner. Another Biafra secessionist organization, the Movement for the Actualization of the Sovereign State of Biafra, MASOB, denies that the security services and the Southeast governors have the authority to declare organizations to be terrorists. A point also made by others, including Senator President, Senate President Bukola Saraki, members of parliament from the Southeast are calling for the de-escalation of military operations. Human rights groups are saying that it is the police that should be concerned with maintaining internal order in the country and not the army. There are similarities between the current Biafra secessionist movement and the Biafra of the 1967-70 Civil War, but the differences are perhaps more significant. The Biafra of the Civil War was a territorial state. It inherited the administrative structures of one of the three regions, that when they made up Nigeria and its army was led by officers who had defected from the Nigeria army. As it was a territorial state, the Nigerian federal forces defeated it by taking back the succeeded territory, just as Union forces reoccupied formerly Confederate territory until little was left of the Confederacy in the American Civil War. The current movement for Biafra is more diffuse and administers no territory. The formal institutions of government in the region are opposed to succession. As been made clear, sorry, as has been made clear by the Southern governors, nor is it clear that the current movement has the widespread domestic support that Biafra enjoyed. At least during the early days of the Civil War, the concerns must be, however, that abuses by the security service and mismanagement by the federal authorities could fund the flames, the decisions of the security services to designate Biafran secessionist organizations as terrorists does not help and is probably illegal. I really hope that 
um, the the work the protest does not lead to violence because in the history of Nigeria no protest has ever gone without violence I hope they can be able to conduct it in a non violent manner my listeners what do you think kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section and please do not forget to like to share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you for listening